basketball in the first half, very similar to the game two nights ago. And we talked about it. They came out at the half and turned up their pressure. Uh, we had, you know, we, we, we folded to start that third quarter. We, we have to, you know, that's one of the things we got to learn from. And, uh, you know, we gave 29 points off our turnovers. So uh, we're not really against an elite team like that. It's not, we're not going to leave ourselves a very good chance, but um, yeah, I mean that, that's a good team over there. So uh, we got we got we got a lot of work to do. First question from James Ham. Hey Luke, in the third quarter, your team seemed to just lose focus. Is that what it looked like to you, or do you just think they were out physical by a, a bigger team? Uh, a little bit of both. James, I think that, um, you know, they, they definitely picked the Clippers definitely picked up their physicality there in that, in that third quarter. Uh, but that's what I'm talking about. Learning from our mistakes, learning from our losses. Uh, we understand like we're, we're not that team, but if we're not, if we're going to make the same mistakes two nights later, then, you know, that, that's wasted opportunities for us to grow. And, you know, we came out, we knew they'd pick up the pressure. We drew up the first play to be a back door to try to, you know, counteract the, the overplays. Uh, we started with a turnover there and, and then we, you know, we forced something and then we got, we, then we turned it over again and got a block. And just like that, you know, hard fought, everyone engaged first half turns into a 12 point, you know, 15 point road uh, deficit against a team that is just waiting to, to you know, to knock you out with, you know, the guys that they have. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of both. Jason Jones. Hey, Luke. Uh, about that third quarter, it just seemed like it's been a theme over the last couple of weeks. When the other team turns up the pressure offensively, your guys kind of resort back to some of the bad habits on offense that lead to the turnovers, whether it be the one-on-one, the over-dribbling, just – is that something that needs practice time? How do you kind of get guys to break that habit of, you know, that every time this happens, you can't resort back to the bad habits? Oh, you know, one, you, you, some, some of, depending on who we're, where we're talking about with the group, you know, there's some players that need to feel that and go through that, uh, gain the experience of that. Um, and, you know, the, to, to me, the, the, the quickest, easiest way to, to relieve that type of pressure is, hit some people with some screens, you back cut, you get to the front of the rim. I mean, look guys, the, the, the pressure is, is great, but when you play defense like that, there's no tags, there's no help size or, you know what I mean? Like everyone's up hugging their men. So we, you know, we have to be aggressively looking to attack the rim. If we're being overplayed, it's either setting a back screen with your man or it's back cutting to the front of the rim and just continuing to understand that process. So uh, Jason, the, the, the answer is, is both you got you have to get gain the experience of it and get the reps of it. Marshall Harris. Hey Luke, uh, another tough loss. Uh, you did ho hold them under 120 points. Uh, I know that's probably not the thing you're focused on right now, but just to see what happened in the first quarter and the fact that you know you had a 29-25 lead, is that in itself a step towards what you're looking to do, or does it all go out the window when the third quarter goes down like it does? No, it doesn't go out the window. It, it is a step, um, and it's something we have to, you know, unfortunately, these lessons uh, are, are frustrating and, they, and they're painful, but we have to learn them. It's, you know, it, it, and for us right now, um, where we are as a team, it's like we, that level of intensity, and then as soon as there's a little bit of a drop-off, it's an 8-0 run, it's a 10-0 run. And, you know, they, they can't be, you know, those big of, of uh, peaks and valleys. It's got to be steady. Um, so, you know, definitely not a waste. Uh, I think that first quarter was, uh, was great for our guys to go through. But we have to continue that throughout the game. And, and um, you know, obviously we did not do that tonight. Matt George. Hey, Luke, building off of some of the questions about the third quarter, it's been a noticeable pattern, even going back to last season, the the adjustments coming out of halftime. Uh, respectfully, do you feel somewhat responsible for the adjustments that other teams are making that this team's not able to match? Or are you making those adjustments? They're just not being carried out on the floor how you'd like. 
<laughs> um, look, we're in this as a team and any failures is all of ours and any success is all of ours. So um, if we have a bad third quarter, it's on us all. If we have a good third quarter, it's on us all. Last question for coach tonight, Jason Anderson. Hi, Luke. Um, you, uh, we talked about belly before the game, and and I understand you said that's a that's a personal issue, uh, at least partly. I won't I won't push on that. But is there also an element um, with the decision not to play him as much recently um, of uh, the organization wanting to play younger guys and develop younger guys too? No, uh, yeah, yeah. Belly not playing is again, it's you know something I'm not going to get into. Other than it has nothing. Nothing to do with our belief in him as a basketball player. Um, so, you know, he's he, he's a, a big part of our team, and uh, he's a very good player. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Take care,